Hello everyone, my name is Nathan Schultz, and this presentation is over two films, the Israeli film Hakov and the United States remake, The Dead. So Hakov, also known as Hahav, translates to The Debt in English. This film was made in Israel, and it contains the Hebrew and German language throughout the film. Uh, it was released on November 29th of 2007, and it's about a 100 minute long movie. The genre of this film is a drama thriller. It's not a true story, but it's set in 1964 and then later in 1990, about the late 1990s. It was based around the capture of the surgeon of Birkenau, who was an experimental Nazi doctor. It's uh, loosely based off of Josef Mengele. Some context around this film. Uh, it's not representative of a movement or a school. Uh, in 2007, the Israeli films around that time were mainly dramas such as The Shelter, Hofshot Kates, and The Secrets. American films at this time were mostly dramas, but uh, some of the most popular movies around 2007 were American Gangster, No Country for Old Men, and There Will Be Blood. These are very popular films. Uh, films at this time didn't really have a pattern, except most of them were dramas. Uh, it's considered to be one of the best years in film, and one thing that you could expect in this year was that you weren't sure that the film would end well, no matter what the film was. Uh, the director of this film is Asaf Bernstein. He was born in Tel Aviv, Israel, and he graduated from the NYU Film School. He made two films before Hakov. Uh, it Belongs to the Bank in 1999, and Holy for Me, 1995. Now, he, he currently has a show called Fauda that is within the top 10 best international TV shows, according to the New York Times. Uh, Hakov gained his popularity in Israel, but he's still working his way up internationally. The intention of this film. Uh, Asaf Bernstein has not talked much about the interpretation, interpretation or intentions of the film, but it seems to be mainly for entertainment. It's a new twist on the Nazis without it being set during the Holocaust, and it brings it to more of a modern setting. Uh, it's simply to entertain and ask, what if? Uh, the cast of this film... Uh, Gila Almagor was Rachel Brenner, and she was known as the queen of Israeli cinema and theater. She has over 50 films. Netta Gardi was young Rachel Brenner in the film, and she was she is a newer actress with one previous film before this one, which was Turn Left at the End of the World. Yehezkel Lazarov played young Ehud, uh, he has been a lead role in over 40 films and TV shows, and he's a very seasoned actor in film and theater. Alexander, also known as Alex Peleg, played Zvi. He's been in several films since 1959, but he hasn't really had a huge role in anything. Uh, Edgar Selge played Max Rayner, and he began acting in 1996, and he's been in a few films since. So the plot of this film was the surgeon of Birkenau, Yosef Mengele. He was captured by an Israeli Mossad group in 1964. He escapes, and the, but the group tells everyone that he was shot and killed while trying to escape, but that wasn't true. Over the years, they were being awarded for their efforts, and in the late 1990s, they find out that he might still be alive and he wants to tell the truth about what happened. The team is terrified that uh, they will be found out, and so they set out to kill him once and for all. Uh, this was set in 1964 in the late 1990s, as I described before. Uh, in the end, Rachel kills him, but he kills her as well. So the American version of this film was called The Debt. It was released in France. On June 15th of 2011, uh, it was released in July of 2011 in Kazakhstan and Russia. On the 31st of August of 2011, it was released in the U.S., Canada, and India. Uh, this film was 
filmed in Budapest, Hungary. It uses English, German, and Russian throughout the film, and it's about 113 minutes long. So the genre of this film is a, a drama thriller, but it also has romance, in my opinion. It's not a true story as well, and it's set in 1965 and 1997. And it was also based around the capture of the surgeon of Birkenau, but his name in this film was Dieter Vogel. Uh, the context around this film, it wasn't representative of a movement or a school. Uh, at the time, Helen Mirren, who was the main actress, was attempting to learn the Hebrew language. She was also trying to get a better understanding of Jewish history and an education of what happened in the Holocaust. Uh, popular films around this time were Avatar, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, Inception, and Alice in Wonderland. Uh, and in 2010, Adventure was the most popular genre, so this film did not necessarily go along with the lines of adventure. Uh, the director of this film is John Madden. He is an English film director born in Portsmouth, Hampshire, England. He started directing television and even directed Helen Mirren in Prime Suspect 4. He also made uh, Shakespeare in Love in 1998, which won an Academy Award for the Best Picture. He's made several films, including Proof, The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel, and The Second Best Exotic, Mar Exotic Marigold Hotel. Uh, the intention of this film was to make the story be told as simply as possible. He wanted to express the feelings of each character towards this Nazi doctor, and he intended to make a thriller that engages the viewer. He also wanted to express the depth of each individual character. There were several cast members in this film. Helen Mirren and Jessica Chastain were Rachel Singer. Helen Mirren played the uh, later version of Rachel Singer. Uh, Syrian Hines played the older David Peretz, and Sam Worthington played the younger David Peretz. Tom Wilkinson and Martin Kazokas uh, played Stephen Gold, and Jesper Christensen played Dieter Fogel. Uh, Dame Helen Mirren is the only person to ever win the Triple Crown of acting in the U.S. and in the U.K., and she started acting in 1966, so she is a very seasoned actor, and she's extremely well-known. Jessica Chastain began acting in 2004, and she's won two Academy Awards and a Golden Globe Award. Uh, Sirian Hines began acting in 1975 and has appeared in films such as The Sum of All Fears, Road to Perdition, and There Will Be Blood, which I've mentioned previously. Sam Worthington began acting in 2000 and brought it to international, er, and was brought to international light in The Great Raid, uh, which was a film of 2005 and he's won several awards for film. Uh, Tom Wilkinson began acting in 1976 and has won Academy Awards, Golden Globes, and Emmy Awards, and he is a very seasoned actor. Martin Sokas has been acting since 1990, and he's appeared in many films, and he won a few AACTA Awards, which is the Australian Academy of Cinema and Television Arts Awards. Jesper Christensen began acting in 1968 and has appeared in many films, and he's also won several awards in other countries. So the plot and synopsis of this film, uh, after years of fame from claiming to kill this Dieter Fogel, who was also a Nazi experimental doctor, uh, the Mossad agents responsible for his escape are very worried after they find out that he has been alive. The agents had captured him, but before they could make the train back to try him he escaped they had tried keeping him alive for several days and he ends up escaping they find him or find out that he's in a mental hospital in ukraine and he is willing to talk to the press rachel sets out to kill him once and for all but she manages to kill him and he also manages to kill her as well just like the previous film at the end of this film one of the main differences is that Rachel leaves a message to a journalist to tell the world the truth of their lie, whereas the truth never came out in the original film. So that's the end of this presentation, and now there will be
a presentation by Tabitha Songer, who is in my group, and she will talk about the theme, narrative, characters, point of view, symbolism, and genre of The Debt and Hakov. Thank you very much, everybody.